This is a little demo that I just wanted to show you how to uh, use these uh, HD, HD home run tuners. Now I have this one here to connect, except mine's an HDHR3, which is several years old. And I also have one of the Extends. Uh, originally I pre-ordered it whenever it first came out. But anyway, I pre-ordered it. Uh, back then I was trying to use it on my tablets and stuff because the HD channels weren't working very well. So anyway, that's the reason I purchased that. But I have not used the transcoding uh, ability in the last two or three years because I don't need it anymore. So anyway, uh, I do not need that. I used it for maybe six months to the year transcoding. But after that, I did not need it. This one here does all my duties. But all my TVs have attached a uh, Android box or some kind of a small media player attached. So, And they all uh, support uh, the live HD streams, the MPEG-2 TS streams, without any problems. So anyway, I don't need the transcoding. Enough of that. Okay, but anyway, uh, uh, a lot of people complain about the uh, uh, DVR that they're, they're working on. And they still are not happy with the uh, guide. Uh, now I know that they cannot use this, but uh, for my TV watching, I, I use this Excel spreadsheet format, and this is the TV head end uh, uh, server. It's a TV DVR server. It's a free one. Anyway, it runs on Linux. But anyway, uh, this is a box that I'm playing on right now. I'm using this right now as my uh, uh, media player. It's the uh, Cherry Trail Z83's uh, uh, SOC system on a chip. Uh, very nice box. It's probably out of a dozen or so boxes that I've got. Uh, this is probably my best one so far. Uh, and for my back end DVR, this is what I'm using right here. That little, I paid $35 for mine when I got it, but it's a $30 stick. It's a uh, Amlogic S805. And there again, Amlogic uh, SOC. Uh, plays the live streams very well, HD, MPEG-2, TS. Uh, matter of fact, from some of the people from the Cody, they actually say the AmLogic plays, and don't, don't chop my head off, but they say it actually plays the live TV streams better than the new NVIDIA Shield. So anyway, I just want to let you know that that's the $30. That is my back end for my DVR. And again, that's the ones I'm using. Uh, this, now if I want to watch a show, Okay, say Laramie. Okay, I click on that little icon. Okay, now if I'm interested, I can search the IMDB. And it's going to tell me about the series. All that information. Okay, so it, it's interesting. Okay, so if I, you know, I can record the program or I can record the series. But I can play the program. So I'm going to play it. It opens it up in my browser tab, which is pretty slick. Now, if I want to, let's see what channel is that. I copy that. Uh, that was channel channel. Uh, okay, that was channel thirty-eight two. So here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to open up uh, the LC player. And media, I want to open up the network stream. Okay, I'm going to copy it and paste it there. Okay, now I'm going to play it. Now it's playing in the VLC standalone program. Okay, now here's what I want to do. I want to save that playlist. Okay, I have a folder called TV Shows. Okay, now I'm going to call that one Channel 38.2. So I type 38.2. Save it. Okay, now... Okay, now I'm going to turn that one off of there. Now, if I go back to uh, the channels, okay, so I want to watch channel 62. Click on that, bingo. It just brought up my standalone uh, VLC program. 
work slip. Okay, now that's one thing. Now also, uh, some other little things that this little uh, $35 <laughs> stick, my uh, DVR, uh, some of the other things it can do. Uh, say I want to uh, record something, MASH. Okay, I click on MASH, click on it. Now what it did, it opened up, it saved it to this little program right here. That is a slick little program. And the reason why I have to use that one because it's a new channel, channel 2.4. They just added the sub-channel about a week ago, and neither Silicon Dust uh, a TV Guide or Schedules Direct, neither one of them got the guide data. So if I want to watch any of the programs, uh, then I have to utilize this. So that, it works great that way. So I can, I can go through any time. Okay, so I want to go to Sunday. The 13th. If there's any particular show that I would like to uh, record, just click it and slick, click record. Okay. So anyway, that's what I wanted to show you. But there, there's a multitude of ways of getting DVR service, uh, watching live TV. There's abund abundance of ways to do that, all with uh, very little money. This little box that I'm using now, you're watching this on my 65-inch TV. Uh, but the little box that I'm using, that's uh, $120 now. My DVR back end is now $29 or $20 to $30 for that. And the uh, uh, tuners. So actually it works real good for me. So anyway, I just want to show you that. Thank you very much.